Here are the best export settings for Instagram Reels for DaVinci Resolve. Let's begin by adjusting the timeline itself. First, head over to your media pool and right-click the timeline you're working with. From the menu, go to Timelines and then click on Timeline Settings. Now, to set things up for Instagram's vertical format, uncheck Use Project Settings so you can make custom changes. Set the width to 1080 and the height to 1920. That flips the video to a vertical orientation. For the frame rate, Instagram tends to work best with 30 frames per second, so it's a good idea to choose that here too. Once you're done, just hit OK. Now let's move to the export part. Click on the Deliver tab at the bottom of the screen. On the left, you'll see your render settings. Start by naming your file, whatever you prefer, and choose a folder where it'll be saved. For format, choose QuickTime, and for the codec, go with H.264. If you see an option under Encoder for your graphics card, like NVIDIA or AMD, go ahead and select that to enable hardware acceleration. It just helps the export go a little faster and smoother. For resolution, keep it at 1920 by 1080, but make sure your video is already vertical. Set the frame rate here to match what you used earlier. So, in our case, 30 frames per second. Now let's talk about quality. Go down to the quality settings and set the target bitrate to 8000 kilobits per second, which is the same as 8 megabits per second, and the maximum bitrate to 12000 kilobits per second or 12 megabits per second. This keeps your video looking crisp without going overboard. Lastly, make sure the rate control is set to constant bitrate. That helps avoid compression issues when the video is uploaded to Instagram. Once everything is set, click Add to Render Queue, then hit Start Render. That's all there is to it. With these settings, your Instagram Reels should look clean and load quickly without losing quality.